Okay, we're gonna start the editor up. Uh, I'd choose PAL because I'm a European. So this is the blank editor with no information in it whatsoever. No music, no sound, no nothing. Um, we are standing on a sequence that is unused. Uh, to use it, uh, press uh, insert key. I just insert a few notes. And uh, you see this number A000. The first two numbers here is the transpose. I'll show you. I just enter a couple of notes. And if I change, go above A0, it transposes the notes upwards. If I go below A0, it transposes down. See? Uh, the last two numbers is the sequence number. Sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They are not used, any of those. They are empty. So we just stick to number 0. Uh, you have to remember to turn on the channels. You see in the top of the screen, it, it says off, off, off. <clears throat> so you press Commodore 1 and Commodore 2 and Commodore 3. Now they are turned off. Uh, on, I mean, sorry. Um, I can even start the player now. I press F1. It plays the music. I press the F4. I can see that it's playing. But... We have no sound, because we haven't made any sounds yet. <coughs> this is the effect column. And um, I write the instrument number 0. So it should play these notes with the instrument number 0. Still no sound. Then you press the run stop key. This is the sound that is all. Uh, I want to make a, a piano sound. I press the N key to name my instrument. Just press enter. I go to the waveform table with shift W. I enter a sawtooth sound, that's waveform 21, and uh, it has to uh, loop, uh, and to loop the sound is FF, and then what position? Zero. <coughs> now we, we hear a click now, but still no sound, because we haven't set the attack decay uh, sustain release. So we press the Shift S to go to the basic instrument uh, parameters and just set an attack like uh, no attack we stay on zero. It means the sound starts immediately. Decay we just put a nine. So now we have a sound. can hear the effect of the sustain. Notice the higher it gets, the longer, the higher the volume gets. Let's just put it at 8. And since it's a piano, we want the sound to uh, also stop, so it's not continuous. So we set the release. sound is still a bit too long 
Uh, wah, wah. Sustain is on. Uh, so we can try set the sustain uh, lower. Okay. But I want it high in the volume, so I set it to 8. Then I can use, uh, instead of the sustain to get the sound shorter, I can set the gate timeout. doesn't really sound like a piano, so I think it's better we just set the sustain. Like this. Um, that's how to make a sound. Uh, we will get to all the other parameters later. Um, waveforms, you have... Um, 11 is a triangle, 21 is a sawtooth, 41 is a, a pulse, and 81 is noise. That's the uh, four basic waveforms that you have in the SID chip. And then you make all kinds of sounds by combining them. <coughs> Let's try our sound. Um, how it sounds with different uh, waveforms. So what I do here is... Uh, you see over here... says use waveform number two uh, shift W go to waveform table and number two it says 11 so now it's using this and just by entering uh, just by pressing enter I insert the wave table pointer into the instrument so now it's a uh, pulse doesn't work because there is no pulse. A pulse program, uh, a pulse waveform must have a pulse program, else you get no sound. And then there's the noise waveform. Okay. So in the next chapter, I will show you the pulse program.